Hello everybody, welcome to Art with Jim. Today we are going to be talking about American artist Georgia O'Keeffe. Now here's Georgia O'Keeffe having a little bit of fun. She is in a car. She is actually in a car art studio. Yeah, that's right, a car art studio. She used to work and paint and make art in the desert. So sometimes things got a little too hot or maybe even a little too windy and she would make her art in the car. How cool is that? You can make art anywhere you go. So I mentioned that George O'Keeffe would paint nature. So here is an example of one of her most famous paintings, flowers. So some of us are in a brush all the time. I know I am. Georgia O'Keeffe liked to slow things down. She would slow things down and say, hey, wait a minute. Let's take a closer look. Let's spend a lot of time looking at a flower and it's amazing all the detail and color she captures right so next time you're walking by a flower slow down and take a closer look right that's georgia o'keefe's main idea is to slow down and let's appreciate how beautiful nature is look at this painting here i love her landscapes those are pictures of the space around her but you can see mountains here and then you can see the reflection in the water. It gives me a really cool feeling when I look at that artwork. I absolutely love it. Okay, now here is our jumping off point. This is the artwork that really inspired me today. We are going to be making something like this. Now this is something she painted. We are going to do it with paper here and some of our pastels too. Um, it is going to be a fun art project. Okay, so let's get started. We are going to work first with this white sheet of paper. Now the white piece of paper, that's going to be my background. So I'm just gonna leave this here for a second. But I'm gonna start here with these kind of hills or mountains, or maybe that's even water in the front. The best part about Georgia O'Keeffe's art is I'm not exactly sure what it is. And I have to use my imagination a little bit because I'm sure she was using hers too. So to make this kind of hill in the front, I'm going to get some of my pastel. You can draw this out with pencil first, but I wanted to have a nice dark line so that you could see it. But I'm basically just going to draw a wavy line, just like so. Remember, there are many ways to draw a wavy line. And honestly, if you wanted to make a zigzag line, that works too. It's totally up to you. But I'm looking at Georgia O'Keeffe's art, and I know that she likes smooth, wavy line. So that's what I'm going for here. And let's see what we get. Hey, that's pretty good. So it looks a lot like water. And now that I think of it, it might just be. So those are my kind of wavy water lines in the front. Now we have this dark mountain area here, which is going to be behind the blue. So I take my black paper, lay that on top. And because you can't really see a black line on the black paper, I'm going to use a white oil pastel here. So I'm going to lay that on top just like so, so that you can see my line. And then there you have it. You can see there's already two parts of this landscape. So I'd like to cut this out here, right on that line. And wow, look at that. I've already made three parts to this picture, right? I have the water in the front, the mountains in the back, and then the sky in the background. But what am I missing? Well, you can see the sun or the moon up top. So I'm gonna grab some orange paper here and then a trusty paper towel tube because I'm going to trace that and cut that out. So this project isn't exactly painting. It's a mix of tracing, cutting, and gluing. So here we go. Cut that out. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Slightly off looks just as nice and sometimes even nicer than a perfect circle because it looks like you made it and that's really, really important. Hey, look at that. The coolest part is I get to decide where the sun or moon goes. I even get to decide if it's the sun or the moon. Ooh, I kind of like it right there. Maybe here, well, maybe there, up to you. Okay, I think I'm just about ready to glue these pieces down. 
I grab my glue stick here and I'm going to glue the sun down first, just like so. Okay, and now I need to do the black, which are my mountains. All right, and now I'm going to glue the blue. Hey, that looks pretty good. That looks a lot like something Georgia O'Keeffe would make. I would like to add maybe just a little bit of detail with my oil pastels. Can you see here some of those details going on? So let me do this. I'm gonna add a little bit here and maybe I'll blend it in. Sometimes you can blend pastels with your fingers if they're soft enough. This is an oil pastel, so, so it's kind of soft. Look at that, kind of pretty cool detail. There's even detail on the sun. It's a little lighter on top. So let me add that. Just adds a little bit of interest. Wow, that's pretty cool. And maybe down here as well. Now I have other colors too, but I really like using this white because what it does is it lightens up the paper. Right? It lightens it up and it almost makes it look like brush strokes, like I'm painting. So I'm not quite painting here, right? I'm drawing and I'm collaging. That means I'm using kind of paper to combine to make something. All right, look at that. This is a true Georgia O'Keeffe inspired landscape. Now I know you might choose different colors, different shapes, and you might even do it totally different but remember you can look at an artwork and decide how you want to interpret it meaning how do you want to make it and make it come to life so this is mine and I would really love to see yours all right guys I will see you next week